Okay. okay. Booktopia. This one might be a while. This one might be a long one. But these three kids, oh my goodness. They have a good friend group, but um I'm just wondering like <laughs> what's gonna happen with them. It's still, it's still funny every time I see B A L. It means something different, but the bug love, that's funny. But anyway, uh we'll continue off with that. Cause we have a lot to read with this one. And this is this isn't a dub. I'm just reading it for my own enjoyment and I might uh miss a couple of words here and there. So yeah. Alright, kiddos. First week of the month. You know what that means. They just came back from summer break, so uh unfortunately. Time for school again. Oh, it's dodgeball time. Time for a good old fashioned game of dodgeball. Sweet. Something I can't say that word. I don't know how to say that word. I freaking hate gym class. Why? I thought you loved doing doing all that school crap. And you're tall. Like, you could probably win this. Maybe. Sure, it was actually educational. Like, seriously. But gym class? I'm a scholar. Not an athlete, Viola. Sorry, I'm burping a bit. What kind of class forces is it children to perform physical labor? For fun? Well, you still gotta be fit. And also, you might wanna watch out. <laughs> How is this even legal? This is practically child abuse. It's a game. If you get serious, you just go to the nurse. They'll probably call your parents. Maybe. <laughs> Besides, Doll's ball is just frightening. What if ball hits my head and I get a concussion? Yes, but I mean. Okay, first of all, Dodge Boy isn't that dangerous, and then immediately gets in the face immediately. Second of all, if you get hit and fall down, you can just cushion yourself with your big boot. <laughs> True, though. It is. Wow. Does it count for both of them going out of the game? Ow. <laughs> Dodge Bug. Who's getting hit? Who's getting hit? You dodged? Ah. Has to hear your out, Penny. Aw. Penny, no! <laughs> Revenge. Probably should have done a very do it dodging, huh? <laughs> you didn't get pelted immediately. This is the the easiest game of dodgeball ever. Not one of you dorts have managed to land a single hit on me and Shabbo. Is it three on three? I think it did show that earlier. I think it's three on three or something like that. I don't know. This isn't good. <laughs> Dash throws the ball so fast that we aren't giving no time to dodge them. They Save was so nimble, she avoids all her throws with ease. Why is she throwing a single ball? Her female beetles tend to avoid fights in general. They prefer watching other beetles beat, beat each other, usually the males. She's probably hop. She's probably hopping dash, hoping dash just knocks us out. Uh, what do we do now? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Willow, can you take the fall from me? The fuck you mean? And why should I take the fall from you? Two gets one isn't exactly a win strategy. 
Because if I beat Dash and Sable, Sable would be... <laughs> what? Sable would want to date me. So you're trying to go one-on-one -on -one so you can beat them up and press Sable. Oh my goodness. She'd be like, oh wow, like, oh, you're so cool and strong. Let's make out and shit. Look at the ball. Do you like having a brain full of mush? And you're about to have a brain full of balls. Boing. Blow us out. <laughs> Then we really I'll binge you. Yeah, I think it's by your uh I mean, they're lost, maybe lost the game. I don't know. Maybe they lost, maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right, dumbass. Try to keep keep your eye on the ball next time. Dude, you, you really need to just get out of the game. I know, even they're like, mm. Excuse me. What's with the crude language? You know, watch your mouth, we are kiddo. Cause sorry, ma'am. I didn't know they have a scar. I think it's a scar right there. I'm thinking it's a scar. Anyways, Viola, you're screwed. And sorry to see you in the background. I don't know, might hear it, might not, I don't know. Anyway, and you're gonna spawn again. I've made this hit extra painful for you. Watch the, the, what the hell language? Impression of lanes? What the fuck? What? That's right, I spent my, the flame move, okay? Bio's gonna be walking. Home of fifth degree burns. I think that's exaggerated, but okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I think that is part of the game to burn your opponents. Are you trying to be her or kill her? I know. Like what the hell? Get out of the way, Viola. Bitch, move. You got a plan? No way. What? 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 She got it? She got it! She got the ball? Yes. yes. It's my dad. Oh, but look at her. She's trembling. Looks like that ball's too hot to handle. Can she do it? Can she do it? Come on, boy. Oh, don't drop the ball. And yeet it back in her face. Yeet it. Drop it. Just drop it, Viola. Out. What, what do you mean by out? Dash is out. Oh, she got the ball, so they're out. Yeah. There's one way to do it. Whoa, nice job, Viola. <laughs> Thanks, but is the clap necessary? Well, kind of. You just call a fucking flaming ball. Oh, come on. You deserve it. <laughs> Did she throw the ball? You bled the fuck out. Uh, what happened? Ooh. And a black eye? God damn. Sable hit you while your guard was down and you've been unconscious for an hour. Sable, what the fuck? Don't cry. You hit her with a fucking ball. What the hell? So I got hit with a ball? I guess that means I lost. And you got a black eye and burnt hands. Great. Um, well, no. Y yeah, I, uh, so, like, it turns out you, like, can't hit buzz above the neck and dodgeball. 
So uh, I was to immediately disqualify. Why did you hit him in the fucking face then? So, like, technically you won. And you might just be disqualified from the fucking game because you just won that face. So I won't because of technicality, huh? Hell yeah, go Rand City. Here I come. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Huh? Where's the girlfriend city? By us. Damn, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, look at all their socials. <laughs> How crazy that is. That she's still trying to impress her. Worried for the well being of her best friend while eating. <laughs> Besides, to grab a snack. But that's means but they, but they weren't there. Today, I'm going to tell you the most epic story ever told. I get it, that's kind of cute, but <clears throat> I'll be back in a minute. I lose the food. For some reason, I think Wendy's either ran out of chicken or something, because they gave me this they had a chicken sandwich, and they gave me like the hockey puck version of it. You know, there's like the ones that be like in frozen bag, those chicken patties, and the ones that um it be like in a frozen section, or those those ones that just be like in a perfect circle or whatever. That kind of chicken sandwich. And it's so small. I mean, I still eat it. I got plenty of fries, but. <laughs> they gave me a hockey puck sandwich. Oh, or a chicken sandwich. 
Oh my goodness, I don't, we're not there anymore. But uh, a trip so grand and uh, super grand that mommies would tell the grandchildren about it. Uh, sorry to hear me eating because I am here right now. Is that a dragon? It's just so epic and amazing and grand that, um, that, um, what was I supposed to do again? Oh, right. Cake for mama. Oh, they're getting cake. Red berry cake. Let's go get some cake. They're all a little bit to get some cake. And plus, I'm eating too, so that's perfect. Got a brave travel through the mysterious Kala, Kala Lily City. Okay. Oh, hey! Oh my god, they're so tiny! Not just from their mama, but like. But other people's perspective, they're so tiny. I'm supposed to he could find a mysterious red berry cake for the beautiful spider queen. Where's mama? Oh, cool, you snails. Oh, yeah, I saw a whirling. He did it across the valley of screaming beasts. Oh, they're trying not to. <laughs> so. Did they help in the mouth? Not knowing how dangerous it could be. This is a fucking child <laughs> in the middle of the concrete jungle. No, like, kid, what the hell? Where's your parents? Or watch where you're going, little shit. Yeah. Suddenly, he was rescued by a beautiful red and black beetle who Chris has died for his foolishness. Oh, hey, mister. Can you help me find a fucking cake for my mama, please? <laughs> Put a little smiley face on it. Oh my god, you Dottie, you're so cute. And so Dottie and his new companion, Crispin, Chris, Crimson, <laughs> Crimson, traveled the new world to search for the elusive red berry cake. Why? Why are they all on the sidewalk like this? Or on the, uh, path like that. Was it that bad? Dottie and Crimson traveled through the bridge of unending pain and misery. For Dottie, probably. Hey, those two! The forest of nightmares. Or just a very chill flower trees. And Ruby stop for arresting the violence part. How is it violent? Or just making it more exaggerated, even though it's pretty peaceful. At least you pay for them to eat something. Finally, Dottie and Kristen finally arrive at the bakery. Finally. Hey, ma'am. You got some cake? Suddenly, the door swung open, and they were greeted by a long-nosed buck witch. Dottie asked the beautiful witch for the red berry cake. Uh... But the witch said she doesn't bake red berry cakes. Oh... They meant strawberry. The kids are used to word strawberry. Straw, strawberry. She understood him perfectly. They didn't get the flavor of what the cake was. She gave him a treasure chest and said to be very gentle with it the cake. And so Dottie returned home. After a long, tireless trip home, Dottie and Kirsten arrived at the spider 
Spider Queen's Palace. I don't know what it is right there. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be Spider's Queen's Palace or something. I don't know. With red berry cake in his. Uh oh. <laughs> or, well, Crimson's hands. Crimson gave Dolly to give and waved goodbye, saying he hopes Al, I mean, Dolly, will be more careful next time. Oh no, her mom's, I mean, his mom's sick. What happened? Did you get in the fire or something? Not surprised the beautiful spider queen with a red berry cake. No one is her favorite. Oh, sweet. And show of gratitude, she gave him the most incredible gift of all time a little bow tie. A bow. That's a good fucking kid. They are a good kid. <laughs> The queen enjoyed her cake, and Dottie enjoyed his new bow. And Dottie couldn't be happier. Ah, smiling too. There's such a sweetheart. The end. That was a good one. What a lovely story. A very good story. Oh, that was really good. Next. When I was told I was going to have a chance to interview the most popular moth in Booktopia, I was delighted. However, I was expecting one, a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a coffee shop or something. I don't understand why we're in the movie theater. Really? Good. Oh, you're a tall. I'm not complaining. A lot of these characters are tall. Or short. Or tiny. Doesn't matter. The movie theater? Eh, I'm kind of surprised about that. Movie night. Hmm. That's like a list of a lot like Sorrel's sister Jasmine. I'm sure it would be a good look for his potential assistant to know his sister was a former actor. A show I'm not only dedicated to him, but his family as well. I see. Oh, that's them. Okay. I see your sister is the one starring the film, huh? She's adorable. No, that's me, baby. <laughs> like oh, what? I'm so serious. Sorry, sorry, sir. I didn't mean to imply that. You know, when I first started my job as acting, Monique uh, told me to cover my eyes a bit more. She told me, goodness gracious, her eyes are way too intense for a little girl. Anyway, I suppose she was right. Like, uh, okay. These eyes were, were made for a little girl. <laughs> oh, pumpkin, what a bug he was. They look kind of familiar. I'm not really sure. Maybe. I don't know. He's the only one who inspired me to become an actor. He was a spider ant mimic, but the director didn't know that. It convinced me that anybody can be an actor, not just ants. Oh. I feel like that line means a bit more than what they're implying. 
and girl that I prove it to him. So now these words can't get enough of me. If I need to push myself to become an actor, I probably get some crappy low paying job. So you probably know what I mean. No sorrel, I don't know what that means. Watch this part, watch it. Watch it, watch this part, watch it, Nat. Now, are you watching? I'm watching, sir. Okay. Did you get all those fine moves? <laughs> or, oh, did you know? I guess. All those uh, fire moves are real. Pokemon used to be part of it. Of, uh, 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 oh my god, can I speak? Yeah, that's quite fascinating. Sora doesn't know he was, supposed to, <laughs> he was supposed to interview me, right? We're supposed to be doing an interview. Oh goodness, my first crying scene. You know, no fun bad, this scene took me at least 70 tries. Really? Why? Mm, can't tell you why. I'm pretty good at crying on demand, but here? I couldn't muster up any tears. But, you can't tell, could you? <laughs> That's why I'm the best in the business. Hmm. So, Nanny Baddy, what you think of the movie? Uh, you want my thoughts on the movie? Of course, that's why we had this interview. I want your honest thoughts on the film. Oh, and tell me you weren't. Oh, don't tell me you weren't paying attention, were you? No, no. I was giving that film my full undivided attention. Uh, it's just, um, well, I mean, if I could be blunt, that's probably the worst movie I've ever watched. I found the characters deeply unlikable and flat at, some, at the same time. And the pacing was horrendous. The dialogue? Garbage. I didn't feel the bomb bond these characters, characters had at all. And don't get me started on those stupid, overly long, oh god, not the musical numbers. Eh, yeah, some of them be just in there for no reason. And I apologize if my harsh words may have offended you, but I wanted to give my honest thoughts your higher. I'm what? You're hired, baby. Congrats on being my new assistant. Really? But I was so harsh on your movie. I don't want an assistant who is just helpful. I want an assistant who can actually assist me. Give me advice, be brutally honest with me, work with my ideas, tell me things I want to hear, hear, tell me what I need to hear. Really? So I got a job? Oh, this is so just cute, little gnat. Gary, what did I just say? Woohoo, I'm working with the greatest artist in the world. And probably gonna get a new outfit change too. But the outfit's nice too. So what is it? What's wrong? Where's the movie's every scene? Is she insane? <laughs> How can she miss the complexity in narratives and subtle nuances? How can she not appreciate the choreography and finally tune tune instruments? 
Oh, appreciate your honest bug. But her taste appears just horrendous. Well, you're harder now. Fruit fruit fly. Move this for your husband. Ooh, maybe we'll see them later on. Okay, this one might be short. I'm a little tired. Like I got my food and I'm tired. I'll do one more. I whoa, wait a minute, what? Wait, is this the farmer? Is this the farmer? I've been watching you for some time, Mary Gold. Yes, it's a farmer waiting patiently. For my chance to strike. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Mr. Carrot. I'm just doing some early morning gardening. It's 2 a.m. Go to bed. Weak spider. Is it okay? It's an R spider. Mary Girl, you know this well outside. Your, you know this is well outside your work hours. You should be asleep. Oh, come on. I've been away for three days straight and feel just Danny. He's like, yeah, three days. You need to put that basket away and go back home. I ain't in the mood to deal with a spider who can barely keep her eyes open or awake. Uh, go to bed. Uh, alright. Yeah, I can see the bass in her eyes now. Girl, get some sleep. God, this shit can be so scary at night. Shoot, I can barely see a thing. Didn't I tell? How many light bulbs do they need to buy for this place? Buying a light bulb. Okay. Uh. Why? Hello, what the fuck? Why are you in the fucking shit? Holy shit! I mean, that's cave, but goddamn. Uh, I mean, it's her right with his old age and all. We probably just forgot. Yeah, apparently forgot to lock a goddamn door. How'd you get in there? Wait, did they sneak in there and then spare her to come in? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This scrape disgraceful. Are these really the type of spires that live here in Bartopia? Uh not all of them. Timid meat <laughs> submissive to beetles. I should kill her right now. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? I mean this is a horror film. This would be terrifying. A spider like her has no right to assist. She could be fine for survival, but still waste waste her time on a farm. She making that fucking money. And also just doing what she likes to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> just the size. Oh my gosh. Weak willed, soft, pathetic. This is terrifying. Ugh. How how do you not feel that? What the fuck? Your life ends here, Mary Gold. I don't think so, but damn. Oh, and she yawned, you back the fuck off. Wait, she could just bail her the floor. Oh, 
Well, you caught her. Now what are you going to do? What was that? Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. Run, run. <laughs> Get in the room, run. Go, are you alright? Uh, uh, Cora, it's all right. I'm standing, aren't I? Uh huh. I'll carry you back home. Yeah, I'm sorry for letting you go in there alone, Goldie. I should have joined you. I didn't expect you to collapse in there. Shit, they're on top of the fucking shed. What the shit? No one notices this. Collapse? Like, fell down? I didn't. I don't think I did that. I mean, I ain't feel no bruises or anything. You mean you don't feel a thing? Uh, maybe we don't tell anyone about this. Alright? What's your deal? Pathetic. Are you calling yourself pathetic? Weak will, soft, pathetic. A smile like that has no right to exist. You feel extra? A stellar spider. He him mail. Everything he will is stolen. <laughs> Of course he stole it. Okay, so I don't have a name for them yet, but they're still a spider. A stellar spider. Not a wolf spider. Or a camel spider. But fuck. I'm tempted to look at what still a spider is, but i rather not. Because I'm not scared of spiders. I just don't want to look it up that much. Okay. But anyway, if you uh, want to look at their socials and all that. Uh, you can and stuff. I'm probably gonna go to sleep after eating some stuff, but uh, other than that, check out their socials, uh, their Patreon and Kofi and all. Uh, definitely give them some love, because they got another comic that I want to read as well. It, they they have some really good shit. And the other comic about like, heaven and hell and stuff, that that is so fucking good. I would say it has some cheer topics in that as well. Just saying, that one's really good too. I think I know one. I think they have another one too. I'm not really sure. But yes, just go support them and stuff. So, um, yeah.